This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? This is a Seeker 001. Yeah, it's a funny name, right? And in this video, we're going to do an interior review. So, um, yeah, we are in this uh, studio in uh, Gothenburg, and I have the car here, and we will just uh, walk through all the stuff. Unfortunately, we can't check out the baby stuff, but uh, we'll see anyway at the ISO fix. Um, but let's start uh, actually with the front. Yes, this car has a frunk. Okay, normally I just double tap. And then, see, does it have any safety latch thing? No, it just opens right up, okay. And you see it has a small frunk. It's large enough to hold a Type 2 cable. And I wonder if this is a vehicle to load adapter. No, okay, it's tire, yeah, uh, compressor. So, and then let me see, do we have anything on here? No. Is this uh, weather sealed? Well, we have this rubber seal here. So there is no, no other lid here, so. But it's probably going to stay warm. Oh, it's not. It's probably going to stay dust free stuff you put in here. Okay, so that's good, let me see. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, washer fluid is on the side, that's good position and then here with the battery but then you need a screwdriver to open it so all the other stuff here is kind of hidden but man it has a nice back and you see these lights here they remind me of a uh, Ford Mustang hmm okay but do we have kick sensor uh, I'm not sure usually the kick sensor will be slightly to left here I can't find it uh, let me check for tow hitch by the way okay this one doesn't have any tow hitch right but we have motorized release kit. Okay, it's up here, of course. Yeah. All right, that's nice. And then, ah, oh, okay, they lower the floor. So here we have a partial shelf. We just pull it out like this. And then this floor can be raised or lowered. Now it's in a lower position. So you can put it higher than then. We should have a flush floor when you fold the seats. And then you can also take it completely out if you want to. I just want to check what's beneath here. Okay, this part here cannot be opened further. And here you see security hooks. Yeah, four of them. All right, that's good. What is this? No, nothing, okay. And then here is for folding seats. We have both sides, but we also have 12 volt outlet here, 180 watt. Oh, nice. First there's kit over there, subwoofer over here. Uh, no pocket in the side, so you want to put your uh, uh, cables in the front then many cars they have a little side pocket and then loading height here can actually be variable let me show you now it's in yeah it's around 75 centimeters there's a button here to lower the suspension you can lower it but it seems like once it has been lowered then you can't raise it maybe the car needs to be on or something but at least over here now it's around 72 centimeters that's pretty good High ones, there will be around 80 centimeters. But let me see if I can raise this. Oh, okay, yeah, you hear the compressor working, but raising it takes a lot longer. We can try to see now if we go to the highest position. Just press and hold this one until it stops. And it should be in maybe in the more normal position. Uh, there shouldn't be any high off road position, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. And now we can measure it again. I'm not sure which more, I mean, which. Uh, yeah, we are back to around six, uh, 75 centimeters. Let me check other measurements here. How deep is your trunk? Ooh, 104 centimeters. Width of the trunk. Uh, I should measure it maybe on the shallowest place here. Uh, 113 centimeters. And then the opening here is roughly 100 centimeters. So quite nice and wide and open trunk. And then if you want to fold the seat, it's quite easy. Just pull on this one and then pull on this one. And now we can measure the length. What? Hmm. This is a bit weird. There's a lip thing here open. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. You can push it down like this. Yeah. But it pops up a little bit. So that might uh, obstruct my uh, laser when I try to measure here. But let's try again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we then have 195 centimeters there. That's pretty nice. The car is five meters long. On this position, you put the passenger seat all the way forward. And then we have 226 centimeters. And what about diagonally here for some long IKEA items? Then we have, wait, 243 centimeters. Very nice. 
On the back seat, let me try to measure the width roughly uh, here. Wow, 139 centimeters. That is wide. What about the height here? This is usually a problem in many sedans. Uh, 30, around 31 centimeters. It's approved, kind of shallow, but you can still get okay seating position. Let me see, can I recline the seat? No, it's just one position. Here we have a little pocket for some stuff. Eight rack in the back is off. Let me see, can I turn it on? Uh, how do I turn it on? There, 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 there. Okay, auto. Nice. And then here. Okay, we need to change the, the direction. And this one has manual uh, air vents. And hi, can you also change? Wow, you can do all this stuff in the back here. All right, cool, cool. Let me see. But here we have one USB A, one USB C. The floor is fairly flat. And then look at the side here. Cool, look. I mean, get to get an impression of what it feels like. Nice and soft materials. We have good space here. Yamaha speakers. Ooh, air vents here. Hook there, light there. We have uh, air, uh, handles for all four doors. We have the sunroof thing, but it doesn't extend all the way here. So you will see that, oh, I'm 173 centimeters and it's not a fist, it's about two fingers of clearance only. But I was wrong about the reclining of the seat, I'll show you now. See here, you pull this one down, it becomes a table or armrest. You have a little bit of stuff here and not that deep, a little bit shallow. Two cup holders, but here we have buttons for adjusting on this side and then also on that side. So when you adjust, let me show you on this side here. You can go more upright, so you can recline the seat. There's the most upright position, and then this is the most down position. Oh, cool. What about middle seat? Oh, oh this one is even more cramped. Yeah, I want to put the small uh, Asian in the middle. Isofix? Oh, oh yeah. Look, lids that you just open, and then the lid stays there. Yeah, yeah I like this, man. Uh, you don't have to ha have a piece of plastic you have to toss somewhere and it's i can just see that it's super easy to mount in the isofix base here and in the front you have electric adjustable seats and then this last button here will adjust the lumbar support but there is no extension for people with long legs here so and then you save all that stuff inside the screen here and you can have different uh, driving, what well, they call it driving habit, but different positions. And then the steering wheel, oh, okay. Huh. I was, usually I try to grab for the button here. It's electric adjustable, but you have to enter the screen and then choose steering wheel. And then you use the touch uh, pad thing here to lower it, raise it, or, or go in and out. And then you'll also be safe with the profile, which is good. Um, this one will pivot, but it will not extend. Nice look in the door. Yeah, Yamaha speakers. So let's see. Here a door handle. Wow. Looks and feels quite premium. Big door pocket here. I like it. I think that's, a, is that tweeter? Or is it, yeah, I think a tweeter is there. We have frameless windows. Uh, not double glazed. Instrument cluster here. Oh, I'm just there a little bit, a little bit bright. Instrument cluster, head-up display. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, we are still in the adjustment for uh, steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it actually shows up there. Okay, close. So you see, we can uh, we can do lots of stuff here in the quick settings. For example, adjusting mirrors is done here, like Tesla style, uh, left and right, and then. So if you want to adjust the mirror, you do this, for example, that side, and then you use this one to, you have to go up and down, left and right, like this. So there's no, there's no scroll wheel here, unlike a Tesla, because what, the reason why I mentioned Tesla, because it is quite similar to a Tesla. And then uh, here also we have 
I love it. Yeah, head of display, you can also do this, and then you can also adjust the head of display up and down via the steering wheel. So it's actually a very use, uh, very e easy to adjust once you get used to everything here. And then, okay, um, wait, I don't want to restore anything. So see, the menu is quite easy to understand. Suspension height, dry mode, uh, HVAC settings. You, you press, oh, how it, no, you press here, you bring up the HVAC settings. And you see here now it's doing some kind of automatic sweep, but you can also go manual uh, like this. And then again, Tesla style uh, electronic adjustable uh, air vents. Just put it on auto for now. This, this one is also a heated steering wheel. And then here, I like this one. See, if you click here, wait, huh, there, you can choose whether you want heater or ventilation. And you also have massage, but that is, it is in a different spot then you have to go to seat and then here you see massage you want to set this one and then yeah now it goes the massage and it's really good okay and then well you also have seat okay i, I can't walk through all this but what i can say is that the the user interface here is really easy to understand like uh, region right one pedal driving uh, it's so easy it's very intuitive and nice and tidy the way it has been organized here I like this kind of user interface because you have a big screen and you can utilize the space and you can have graphics and stuff to make it really easy to show the settings rather than having a traditional icon based multi-layer uh, stuff like that okay here we have navigation fairly smooth also so i i didn't use it that much during my test drive but it was uh, okay and then here we have if you go to my car and then go to trip options kind of hard to find it then you find it. Oh, ah, ah, there was a way to show this one. I didn't figure it out during my test drive. Yeah, you can, of course, show trip there. Uh, I, <laughs> that one was a little bit tricky for me to figure out how it worked, but you also have it here. Uh, more trip data. The weird thing is that, uh, huh, this one, huh, this one shows you a kilowatt hour total, but then this one shows you actually uh, the, the consumption. Yeah, all right. Well, okay, uh, enough about the infotainment. Uh, pretty good. Here we have uh, the gear levers, uh, like drive, reverse, and then park. Oh yeah, and then I'll show you the backup camera, yeah. One thing I don't like is that some of the bongs are a little bit high. And also turn signal, listen. Yeah, it's a bit loud to my taste. Okay, but let's keep on with the infotainment. So here is the button for opening the glow box. <laughs> yeah, whoa, it's uh, okay. Nice materials here. Yeah, there's no uh, adjustment for air vents. It's done electronically. And then here we have wireless charging pad. And then here, on the space USB-C, we have another 12 volt outlet there. And then this one, I think they cannot be adjusted. You have volume control here, stuff. Uh, and I think that's it. I, I wonder if my time is almost over now because the dude just arrived. Yes, the organizers, uh, the other car, the, the X, well, not that one, but another studio is going to be ready for me soon. But okay, let me finish this one. Uh, this is always a little bit stressful because we are at an event and I have limited time, but headroom here, whoa, is really good. Yeah, we can actually utilize the glass here and you see that you can utilize, some, some cars, they have the beam quite wide, you know, so it, it goes here, but here you can actually use the glass area here. So that's good, good headroom and then seats feels also nice they have the perfect balance between some side bolsters but also not too sporty seat but also not too wide open american seats i can show you under here we have this uh, bridge design where you have storage under there so some cars they will have usb or maybe a 12 volt outlet here there's nothing but at least there's an edge protecting it and you have also a little bit of a uh, rubberized here so you don't slide all the stuff all around the place so there you guys have it, the Seeker 001. It's a long name, but that's what they call it. I was gonna call it Seeker 1, but then all the Seeker guys said they call it 001. All right, but uh, now you see it, Seeker, yes, do you like it? I think it's nice, yeah, and actually not too expensive also. So I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.